you're gonna get one water bowl per entry per table and you'll each have your own brush then I'm gonna call you to pick out your paint you can pick two colors plus black or white I recommend white unless you're doing like a stormy sky so I'm going for like a sunset -y, so I went with um, red and purple now white plus red is pink so I don't have pink paint if you want pink you have to get red I will not be filling the paint up so once you get your paint that's what you have to do your paper with <clears throat> All right, so we're wanting like a textured sky. So when we're painting, you're gonna get on the table and that's okay. So you're gonna want to use lots of kind of strokes. If I'm not ready for these to mix yet, then I'm gonna clean my brush out. So the different brush strokes you use is gonna give different texture. So you can see where I'm circling it versus just going like this. So really play with that. Now where I pile the paint will be darker, where I spread it out is lighter. You don't need water on your brush for these paints to work. If you have water on your brush, it's just gonna get more watery. Um, so notice I'm kind of like having my two colors kind of get closer and closer before blending. Cause once they blend, you can't unblend them. They're like, they're blended. So. Uh, this is about as close as I can get. So now I know I'm gonna start blending. I haven't even used my white yet. I'm just, right now I'm just getting those colors on there. And now I'm gonna start blending them. So first I'm just gonna kind of go on top some of the purple, not all the purple. Okay, maybe now we start in with some white. Um, so the white is great for if you want clouds, um, but it's also, gonna make those color lighter. So you can see now I have some pink in here. 